So I'm doing steps one, two, and three right now. And that is adding a little instrument panel into the front of the cockpit area, which I did right there. Put it right in there. Maybe you can see it this way. I don't know. It's right there. Uh, once I paint it, it'll probably show up more. And then the pilot and co-pilot seats with the two sticks. Put those in. Now I'm going to paint those. And then they get inserted into uh, the cockpit area. Okay, so I get the stuff I need for painting. Gonna work on the main landing gear now. The main landing gear assembly is all glued together. Now I'm gonna paint it and add the wheels to the axles. Okay, I have the uh, crew seats, the interior, all done. Not a whole lot of detail, it's all molded on, but I just painted it with NATO black from Tamiya. Let that dry, then uh, did some uh, dry brush weathering type stuff with these Tamiya Weathermaster um, pastels, I believe they are. And just uh, use that on here. Then I painted the seats with uh, NATO Brown. And I did those lightly so that they looked uh, kind of worn through. Anyhow, there is the uh, inside of the cockpit done. So that's ready to go in the fuselage. Next is this main wheel assembly. I had that all glued together. I had the NATO black on it and now that it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and weather it also. Okay, I'm adding the wings to the top fuselage half, as you can see. The um, main landing gear assembly is all done. It's awaiting to be put in with the wheel, getting the wheels attached to it. The canopy has been put in. Right now, it's, you're looking at the bottom side of it, but it has been put in. <clears throat> so next, what they're asking me to do is build the front landing gear. And I'm going to go ahead and build it up to a certain point, but I'm not going to add it onto the body of the fuselage yet. It'll get in the way of painting, so <clears throat> I'll build that up and then uh, Start adding some other parts like these fins, ventral fins, um, actually looking ahead in the instructions here, I'll move this paper towel out of the way, looking ahead, <clears throat> step 14, I can actually uh, put the two halves of the fuselage together right now since these wings are all set up. I think I'll go ahead and try and do that. Here I have dry fitted the wings in and the two halves of the fuselage together to test the fit of everything. The canopy is already in there. I mean, excuse me, the uh, cockpit is already in there. already dry fitted this um, about three or four times and each time I do I sand a little bit more in this area right here where the seam is. It uh, was way too tight and it wouldn't go together. But it looks like it's good now. 
<clears throat> so I'm at the point where I think I can start uh, applying some glue. All right, here is the F111, and I have the fuselage put together. Um, there are some fitting issues with that. Up here in the front, there's a gap right there, a bit of a gap right there, and on this side, same thing. But I think I can take care of that pretty easily with some putty. Um, everything else is fitting really well. The wings went in no problem. On the un underside of the tail here, we have the these uh, rear stabilizers put on, these fins. What else did I stick on here? Oh yeah, the engine intakes have been glued on into place. So, um, <clears throat> next is gonna be attaching a tail cone this piece right here and there's the instructions showing this tail cone it goes on the uh, in between the uh, engine nozzles and uh, so this tail cone is two halves that I glued together and it's do a little sanding on it and tidy up the uh, seams on it before I glue it in place <clears throat> This is where the uh, main landing gear will be, and there's the nose gears right here in this, this uh, bay. Um, and yes, the wings do work. See that? The wings do fold in, and they come back out. Yeah. You know, this is a really old monogram kit, and it's... Uh, Actually, not in too bad a shape. And it's starting to look like an airplane. This whole front section had to be sanded a lot, puttied, then sanded. And there's quite a gap there in some places. Hopefully, I got that evened out. In the back here, a few spots where the parts joined together were a little uneven. So I got those sanded. I'm going to put the other horizontal stabilizer on, and then we'll put the uh, tail on. Okay, the landing gear is now on, and I've put the decals on. I'm letting the cement on the landing gear uh, completely cure up for a while before I try and set it on its on its wheels. I don't want to uh, do it too early. I want these. I want these. This landing gear assembly to be nice and strong. So there it is. I still have the nose cone to put on. It has weights in it, so it doesn't become a tail sitter. And then the last thing after that 
is the canopy. Uh, well, excuse me, the exhaust cans. These have to go on too. Camera will not focus on them for some reason. Come on, camera, you can do it. Anyhow, there they are. Those go on the back. Right there. So, it's coming along. Here you can see that um, the F-111 is pretty much done except for placing the canopy on. And that's going to be coming up next. I just have to get it masked off and painted. But um, I'm pretty happy with this build so far. It, <clears throat> it had its uh, fitting issue points here and there, but nothing serious. Um, so it went together pretty well. One of the biggest fitting issues was getting these exhaust cans put into place. The holes in the back of the fuselage around the tail uh, didn't exactly work that well, so I had to kind of modify them a little bit and, and sort of use my X-Acto knife. It's like they were closed up too much. Anyhow. I got that fixed. Um, I had to put some weight in the nose because this thing is a tail sitter. If you don't, the probably the the biggest con about this model kit were the uh, decals. They were pretty bad. They silvered really uh, easily. All of them did. Every single one. So, but I got them on, and I'm going to put another clear coat on here. Hopefully it'll help that silvering. If you look, you can kind of see some of it happening right there around that uh, and see, um, USAF marking. The stars and bars right there, you can see the silvering pretty badly. Same with this. When a certain light hits it, you can see it. It shows up. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm almost done. So, okay, the Onward. canopy is ready for painting. And I will be using the same colors I used on the fuselage. Hopefully, I can get this right. All right. The Monogram 148 scale F-111A swing wing fighter is now done.